Kian FM. Okay, I'm going to go back because Hamza Yusuf is at the podium now. Last week, I stood here to announce the ending of the cooperation agreement between the SNP and the Greens, the Butte House Agreement, and that the SNP would seek to govern as a minority government. I made that decision as leader of the SNP because I believed ending the Butte House Agreement was the right one for the party I lead, and I still do believe that to be the case. But most importantly, I believe it was the right decision for the country. My hope was to continue working with the Greens in a less formal arrangement as the SNP moved into a new phase of minority government. Unfortunately, in ending the Butte House Agreement in the manner that I did, I clearly underestimated the level of hurt and upset that caused Green colleagues. For a minority government to be able to govern effectively and efficiently, trust when working with the opposition is clearly fundamental. And while a route through this week's motion of no confidence was absolutely possible, I am not willing to trade my values and principles or do deals with whomever simply for retaining power. Therefore, after spending the weekend reflecting on what is best for my party, for the government and for the country I lead, I have concluded that repairing our relationship across the political divide can only be done with someone else at the helm. I have therefore informed the SNP's National Secretary of my intention to stand down as party leader and ask that she commences a leadership contest for my replacement as soon as possible.